Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, so some of you that have been watching me for a while, you know that I've had a very interesting paranormal life, right? Not only did I die in 2001, where I went to heaven for what I call five years, right? I also have been seeing ghosts and spirits virtually daily since I was a kid, okay? So I'm going to start doing ghost stories. Woo! Okay, so today's ghost story. I need to give you the backstory first. I had some friends, married couple, who had their own cleaning business. And one of the contracts that they had was this mechanic workshop. So the guy rang me up, the, the husband, and he said, would you like to come out with us on Friday night? and do some cleaning at this place and I said yes so he said well I've got to tell you the place is haunted and instantly I was thinking hell yes I'm in right so he said come on over you know we've got all your buckets your mops your cleaners your wipes and everything that you're going to need you just turn up and help us right so I turned up at this place and I've drawn a diagram of what it looked like. So here it is. Yes, basic, right? But this is the street. And there's a, it's it was like a little house thing here. And you walk in, there's some offices where people um, work, right? And there's a flight of stairs that goes up. And upstairs from this part here, there was a kitchen and other offices and a lounge room where they could sit on their breaks, etc., right? Here were three big garage doors. So when you walk in, there's three doors and each car bay had three cars that could fit into it. So it was a quite massive area. I reckon from here to here would have been 30, 35 feet easy. So over the back, they had all shelving for their car stuff that they were working on. And here, these are all shelves of car parts. You know, so you've got a bucket of um, screws. You've got a bucket of belts in another section, right? So it's all their car parts to do up cars, right? This little square here was a downstairs toilet. So when I got there with this couple, they said to me, where do you want to work? And I said, well, look, I don't care. But, you know, toilets are one of the things people don't like cleaning, right? I personally don't mind toilets for some stupid reason, okay? Probably because I've done a lot of aged care as well as disability work over the years. So poos and all other stuff that people fling around in bathrooms, it doesn't bug me, right? So I was here in this little toilet area. The other two went upstairs and they were in the kitchen, which was upstairs. So I knew the place was haunted, so I'm sitting there in this little, there was a bathroom and a shower and some other stuff in there, which, you know, took about 45 minutes to clean it. And while I'm in there, I'm hearing all these noises, footprints on the concrete, you know, heel toe. So you can hear heel toe, heel toe, like people walking. You know what it's like, right? So, and I went to the door and I could hear them coming from inside these rows of shelving. So, I stupidly yelled out, if there's anybody here and you want to let me know, please throw something at me. <laughs> oh man, I wasn't expecting what happened. You know, maybe a screw or a belt or something. So here I am standing where this little toilet was and out of my peripheral in the corner I could see something big and I saw it was black and it was coming towards me. Now it would have been probably eight foot in the air so it was taller than me. I'm five foot eight, right? So it's coming closer to me and it's high above me. 
and I'm seeing it out of my peripheral peripheral because I'm looking at my roller shell VNR and there's car bays and there was no cars in there by the way I should have clarified that but there was no cars in this bay so it was about 30 feet away and it came from over in this area near the corner and it's coming towards me not fast but it was moving okay it was moving and it came down a probably three feet in front of me and it was a car engine so I'm standing there saying this little line if there's anybody here you know doing a little girl with your curl in your hair oh yeah if there's anyone here and you want to throw something at me please do it and this car engine comes out of the corner towards me and as it lands bang on the concrete my friends were upstairs they yelled out what the heck well insert swear words can't start in with f what the fuck was that so there they are running down the stairs and i'm still looking at this car engine thinking holy shivers they come over and they say what the heck have you done what are you doing i said mate all i said was if you want to throw something at me to let you know that I'm here, um, let me know that you're here, throw something at me. And it was a car engine. Do you know how big those things are? They're massive. Yeah, they're about this square and they're about this big and they weigh tons. You need a crane to lift them up, right? So the guy's looking at this car engine and he's scratching his head and he says, look at the hole in the concrete. You know, there was a big hole about this deep in the concrete where it hit. And I looked at this guy and I said, mate, what do we do? And he said, hurry up, finish your cleaning. Let's get out of here. So as we're in the car leaving, he's, I said, mate, what, 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 what about if they ask anything about the car engine? He said, well, because, mate, you can't lift a car engine to put it back, right? Especially two girls and a guy, right? You need a crane to lift those things up. So anyway, he said, I'm not going to, we saw nothing. They've told me that it's haunted. They'll just come to work tomorrow morning and see it. So can you imagine the people working at this place? <laughs> <laughs> arriving to work on the Monday morning, happiest day, and they open up the car base. <laughs> and there's this bloody car engine sitting near the toilet with this big gouge in the concrete. <laughs> They'd be going, what the fuck? <laughs> Out. So that's a true ghost story that happened to me, guys. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm updating my book. It's called Ghosts. Okay. Ghosts. And then the subtitle is The Psychology of Why They Stay. So let's have a look at who this was. One, I didn't see the ghost. All I saw was the car engine. <laughs> you know, it still sort of freaks me out to do this day, right? <laughs> car engine oh my god <laughs> got thrown at me so we've got to look at the psychology here right i didn't see who it was i have no idea why they're there okay how long they've been there right so we can't talk about that but what we can talk about is what i said if you want to let me know you're here throw something at me so we've got to look at the car engine. How far did it come? 30 feet. Now this is three car bays and it each fitted three cars, right? So with room to move around each car. So you can imagine how far away this was. I say 30, 25, 30 feet. Easy, right? So it came all the way over to where I was over here. And we actually did go over there and on the shelf was all dust. Except... For the big square where this car engine was on the on the shelf so it was very clean there okay so this car engine had been there for quite a while and it was there was no dust set because as you know mechanic workshops they get really filthy right 
So we've got to look at why and how. We can't say the who because we don't know who it was, right? Because in future videos, I'm going to debunk the who, why and how, right? Who we don't know because I didn't actually see the ghost like I have in other stories that I'm going to talk about, right? All my real ghost stories, right? So those videos will be coming. So why did they do it? Because I asked them to, okay? So we've got to look at why did they do it? Because I asked them to. They were complying. They were showing me that they could move something so heavy and big. A car engine. Oh my God. I can imagine the people coming to work the next day. You know, what the heck? How did that get by? Oh my God. Anyway, why? is because I asked for it. How? Because ghosts can manipulate items. And you've got to remember, ghosts don't have that weight like we do, okay? They can pick up a building if they wanted to because they don't have to deal with the weight. So let's go there with a movie, right? Patrick Swayze in the movie Ghost. He's on the train station and he meets the angry ghost and he's in the credits as angry subway guy. Angry subway ghost, I think they call him in the credits, right? So that ghost is talking to Patrick Swayze because Patrick Swayze is trying to kick a can of soda. And the guy says, you can't do that anymore. You haven't got a body. So you've got to use your energy. You've got to create it within you and emit it out of it, right? So... I've practiced that and it is something that we can do, okay? Which I'll do a development class on that one if you want to learn how to move stuff. Ooh, okay. Stay tuned for that one. So this ghost at this mechanics workshop that night, it knew how to manipulate its energy to make things move. That's why when I first got there that night, I was hearing... The footsteps in the in the shelving area over here where he's walking up and down because ghosts don't have feet right so this is how they do it through that energy where they create things in our three-dimensional world and they make things move around now if you've watched other videos of mine there's one there where I, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called but in brackets it says ghost interruption because that day when I was filming that video one of my lovely residents <laughs> no longer living they opened my front door and slammed it okay so you can hear that one clearly in one of my past videos that I've done it's called ghost interruption in in brackets if you scroll down through my videos okay so what I'm going to do once a week I'm going to start doing ghost stories real stories that I've personally experienced in all the oh god 30 odd years of that I was a ghost investigator and a ghost hunter if you want to call it that okay so I've got some really cool stories so if you do want to hear future stories press the like button Press that button because then I know that people are interested in this, okay? Also, subscribe so then you get notified and when new videos come out, okay? Because I've got a lot of stories to share that are all coming up. So stay tuned, guys. And then I'm also going to do... Ooh, I'm writing my ghost stories, right? The, it, the book is called Ghosts, The Psychology of Why They Stay. And when that comes out, I'm going to be giving away free copies. So you'd want to stay tuned for that so you can hear all my stories in there. Okay. Love you all. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.